In this episode, we're gonna cover the Live All Pika Boost 2, what it is, who it's for, and how to install it. Let's go. So when you get your Pika Boost in the mail, it's gonna come in a box just like this. It's also going to come with a tool that is specific to the bolts on the seat post here. Now it's an anti-theft type bolt. And what that does is keeps people from trying to steal it off your bike if you're not around. It also comes with a mud guard and it's also going to come with a remote so that you can control the blinkers and the brake and the modes from the handlebars. If you are looking for a method of transportation and you don't want to pedal and you want the most assistance that you can get, this is probably not for you. You should probably be looking at a class two or a class three e-bike. This is for somebody who already has an existing bike and just want some help up hills, maybe extend your range and maybe not tire out so much on a conventional bike. A little bit about the specs. So the battery is inside here. It's a 10 amp hour battery, okay? And it takes about three hours to fully charge. And the motor on here, this is the Pika Boost 2. The motor is a 500 watt motor, which is an upgrade over the prior version. With the Pika Boost, it has a built-in brake light and blinkers. From the control at the bars, you can control the blinkers, you can control the modes that you're in also. One great thing I love about this Pika Boost is the removable battery. The battery can be taken out and replaced if the battery ever goes bad or it wears out. You can replace the battery. Another great thing about this that I love, I have three kids and they have their iPads and they have their, their little phones, right? I'm sure yours do too. When you take this battery out, you can reuse this battery and take it with you on a road trip or take it with you to the office and you can charge your devices or your kids' devices. If I know I'm gonna be gone for a long time without any power, then I'll take this battery and I'll charge my devices off of the battery from the Pika Boost. The Pika Boost is designed to fit just about any wheel on a bicycle. You can put it on your kid's bike, you can put it on your bike, you can put it on your mountain bike, you can put it on your road bike. It'll fit just about any wheel. All you gotta do is bolt the clamp to the seat post stem here, set it on the tire, it'll do a calibration thing on its own, you can do all that within the app, and then you're ready to go, that's it, that's all there is to it. Set the mode that you want in the app, or you can change the modes from the handlebars, and off you go. If you wanna utilize the brake light feature on the Pika Boost, you take the little bitty magnet that comes in the controller box, put it on your brake lever, and then take that wire and then put it next to the magnet on the opposing side of the brake lever so that when the magnetic field is broken, it knows to turn the light on. That way the bike knows that you're braking and that is what will allow the rear brake light to work. The Live All app is pretty great too. Just download it from the Android or the App Store. It connects seamlessly. I had no troubles getting connected. Make sure you do the software update. If there's one available, do a calibration. It's all in the settings. It's all in the features. The app is super simple. It's not even worth going over because when you see what is in the app, it's self-explanatory. It's right there, right in your face, right for you. Anybody can do it. Okay, 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 enough blabbing. Let's get this thing on the road. Let's get some final thoughts. Let's go. One of the great features about the Pika Boost is you get an e-bike and you get the capability of an e-bike without having to have a separate bike. Probably one of the best features that I can think of is regen. So as you're not pedaling, as you're coasting, the motion of the wheel is turning the motor in the opposite direction, creating a current that's charging the battery. So as you're coasting, you're getting a battery charge. That's a win-win. The Pika Boost also has a mode that transforms your bike into a exercise bike. So what it'll do is instead of providing assistance, it'll provide resistance. And that's going to treat your bike kind of like a, a trainer, if you will. But you're outside, which everybody likes. And the Pika Boost has several modes, which I will include here. Some of them are more assistant than others. One of them is only helping you when you go up a hill. Some of them are assisting all the time, even if you're coasting up to a max speed of 20 miles an hour. And the battery on the Peak Boost is small enough that it meets the FAA's regulation for battery size, which can be taken on a plane. So you can use this Peak Boost if you want, if you're traveling as a bicycle assistant or bring the battery along with you to charge your devices. Easy, love it. With all that being said, guys, I think the Pika Boost does have a place in the market. It's for the person that wants to get out and ride a conventional bike, but doesn't want to bust their ass up all the hills, and maybe they want to go a little bit further. And it has a handful of features that are really useful that I can use on the bike and off the bike. I love this thing. I'm going to add this thing to my collection of electric toys. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.